It's March 4th and it's a day two. Now on to news with Bennett. A new breed of tomato, the cherry ember, was recently discovered by Philip Griffiths, associate professor of horticulture at Cornell University. The new breed is a result of 15 years of hard work, and this year is the first year the tomato will be available in farmers markets and eventually grocery stores. Griffiths describes the tomatoes as sturdier with a thicker skin and meatier texture than regular cherry tomatoes. Petra Page, man, the co Petra Pageman, the co-owner of Fruition Seeds, describes the tomato as, quote, beautiful and compelling with its metallic gold stripes and sweeping trusses, which are the fruit-laden branches of the plant. Mann said in a statement, quote, this is Cherry Ember's first year in the world, and I'm really confident that in 49 years, the Finger Lakes and western central New York will have a beloved heirloom variety called Cherry Ember to enjoy. Today, Capitol Police were forced to prepare for another assault after acquiring a intelligence of a potential plot by a mil militia group only two months after a mob of Trump loyalists and extremists attacked the Capitol building. Yesterday, House leaders unexpectedly moved to vote on policing, policing legislation so lawmakers could leave town, according to an aide familiar with the planning. The plot seemed to be inspired by the pro-Trump conspiracy theory propagated by QAnon. Intelligence analysts have spent weeks tracking online chatter by adherents who believe that March 4th will be the day Trump would be restored to presidency. Some officials describe the threats as aspirational, the group was not named, and even influential QAnon followers call March 4th a, quote, deep state plot. A 28-year-old female named Aliyah Kimbrough was arrested for stealing a car with children inside. The children inside the vehicle were six months old, two years old, five years old, and six years old. The police discovered the car being driven near Erie Boulevard on East Thompson Road with the children still inside when they were arrested with the woman. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The wait, the wait room will close at 5.30 on Thursday, March 4th. Please plan accordingly and have your ride on time. Contact Mr. Eschbacher with questions. Mostly cloudy with some flurries with a high of 29. Friday and Saturday there are expected snow showers with highs in the upper 20s. Sunday will have partly cloudy skies with a high of 28. Monday and Tuesday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 41 and 47. Wednesday will have possible rain showers and will warm up to a high of 58. I'm Gabby with your weather. The boys basketball team beat Central Square yesterday 44 to 35. The girls team lost to at Central Square. The men's Syracuse basketball team beat Clemson last night 64 to 54 in a great game. The team was led by Alan Griffin with 22 points. The Syracuse women's basketball team plays Boston College tonight in the first game of the OCC tournament, ACC tournament. The Philadelphia 79ers beat the Utah Jazz 131 to 123 in overtime yesterday. Joel Embiid scored 40 points for, the Philadelphia, for Philadelphia, and despite the loss, Donovan Mitchell of the Jazz scored 33 points at Visibility Sports. And that's it for you today. So from me and everyone else at the morning show, have a great Thursday.